Maggie, thank you very much. Great advice there. Now, our weather team is predicting high winds, and as Betsy said, power outages come along with those high winds. Yeah, that's the thing. I've had some blowback from people saying, who are you to forecast power outages? Well, I happen to have a couple <laughs> decades of experience with how this all goes down, and power outages are a very real threat with this system. Our Neil Fisher spoke with those at First Energy about what they are expecting. So, Neil, what did they have to say about all this? Hey, good afternoon, Jay and Betsy. They said if the power goes out and the winds are above 40 miles per hour, they cannot put their crews into their bucket trucks for their own safety. Now, this will impact the system a lot greater this weekend if that comes out to be true. And I know you've mentioned it, gusts up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. But if that power does go out, the impact will be greater this weekend and possible outages will last longer. Although it's a holiday, First Energy says crews are on standby as this weather system makes its way to Northeast Ohio. The winter storm season, the biggest threats to our electrical system are high winds, heavy snow and ice because those are the elements that can build up on our equipment or on tree branches and cause them to fall and you know damage the equipment. This storm could impact most of the region as well, meaning crews that would help First Energy get the power back up and running could be busy with their own power outages. First Energy says if you experience a power, out power outage, report it to them. You can do that on their website just so they know the scope of the outages and with the threat of power outages this weekend we spoke to local first responders of the Parma Fire Department about the do's and don'ts scenarios of what to do if your power does go out. We'll share that at five o'clock. All right, Neil, thank you very much. We'll look forward to that report. Bets, uh, for anyone that might push back on how can you forecast power outages, yeah. this is a game of physics. It's a really. little bit of a frustrating thing because, uh, you know, they, I'm being accused of scaremongering, which is the last thing that I want to do. Uh, I'm just being very real and practical about the conditions that is it, that are in the forecast yeah. and the implications of those conditions. Uh, anytime we have high winds, we have power outages. Sure. And we are for forecasting high winds. Anytime we have high wind gusts, we have even more because it adds that that extra force to the lines as they're swinging and whatnot. Sure. So just based on weather conditions, we're going to have power outages and it's not, you know, we're not putting that out there to scare anybody. You have time to stock up, get ready. And that's why you're doing that. Figure obviously. out what you're going to do. That is the whole point yeah. of, of this be warning prepared. ahead of time. Please And be you prepared. know, so often with predicting weather, sometimes the worst case scenario doesn't come to fruition. Right. But my, my, this is my plan in life. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be prepared for something and it not happen than not be prepared for something and have it happen. So what we're saying, what Betsy is saying here is, if there are steps that you can take that would make an extended power outage easier on you, by all means do it. Yeah. And you know, if it doesn't come to fruition, you were prepared just in case. And call around and find out your friends that have generators. Yes, exactly. We'll be over. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring you the very latest updates on this forecast, including a link to our interactive radar, of course, at WKYC.com.